I'm filming, start talking. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, my darlings. I'm Allison Maldonado, your Vintage Voyager, and welcome to another segment of Vintage 101. Today's lesson is all about the difference between vintage shopping and thrift shopping. A lot of people think they're one and the same. They're, of course, very closely related, but there is a difference. If you remember back to our very first Vintage 101 segment, we talked about what makes vintage clothing vintage. And just to refresh you, it's anything that was made 20 years prior to the current date. So anything from 1996 and beforehand is considered vintage. When you're shopping at true vintage stores, they of course abide by this rule. And as we saw with the past seven locations that we visited, um, they all really take pride in the fact that they hand pick each of the items in their store. They make sure that it meets these qualifications, that it's in good condition, if it has any damages to it, they make the repairs. And of course they store it really well, all with the goal that when the customer is buying it, even though it's an item that is decades old, it still feels brand new. And also shopping vintage doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to pay cheap prices, depending on what decade it's from, how well the item has been maintained, and especially if it's a vintage designer piece, you can pay really big bucks. Vintage is more uh, investment pieces, I guess you could call them. Um, where you're really, uh, you know, investing in the quality of something that has withstood the test of time. And of course, if you uh, continue to maintain the item as the vintage store did, you could have it for the rest of your life. Thrift shopping is a little bit different. When you're thrift shopping, um, you know, think more your yard sale items. Thrift shopping is just that, it's thrifty. Um, you are saving money when thrift shopping, but it doesn't necessarily mean when you go to a thrift store that you're just shopping vintage items. You can also be shopping items um, that were made currently today. Um, sometimes there are items in a thrift shop that are exactly the same as in a J. Crew or a Gap, even that season. Um, for whatever reason, the person bought it, didn't want it, and they decided to donate it. And that's another thing that defines thrift. Often the items are donated or they're exchanged where the thrift store offers them money or uh, offer the, offers them an amount uh, of cash to shop the thrift in their store. Um, so it's not necessarily pieces that are vintage. It can, of course, be vintage um, if people decide to donate items that are from 20 years or beforehand, um, but oftentimes it can be items that are currently uh, you know, out today. I can't tell you the amount of times that I've been at a Theory or a J. Crew, and there's this outfit that I absolutely love, but it's way out of my price range. Um, and then as soon as a week later, five months later, or a year later, I'll go into a thrift store and find the exact outfit for a fraction of the cost. And that's what makes thrifting so amazing because you have that um, you know, potential when shopping thrift. The rule of thumb overall to remember uh, that's most important is that thrift stores can carry vintage, but vintage shops do not carry thrift. So I really hope that you learned uh, something great today. Uh, as always, please, uh, if you liked this video, comment below, click like, and please click subscribe. Also make sure to like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at The Vintage Voyager. As you guys know, I'm currently on the road and I'm taping the second season. Uh, so there's just a brief hiatus from full episodes during this time, but please keep following um, because I got a lot of good stuff coming for you. Uh, so thanks so much, you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.